Hello ladies, it's Penny at Penny's Place. You're joining me tonight. It is night time. It's 20, nearly 29. Um, in the kitchen because my cap room table is a mess. It's going to be a very quick one because you can see I'm still croaking. And we've just been watching Diana Ross at Glastonbury. Yes, yes, on the telly. So Arthur's on, as if you've heard him, he's on camera. <laughs> Executive producer, thank you. <laughs> Director, yeah. Anyway, yesterday I got a lovely envelope through the door. Isn't it beautiful? I'm hiding the address there. But I'm very cross because I've got to carefully cut out now all these stamps. Because I think they're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so I have to carefully cut them out to use them again. It's a lovely um, envelope and it's handmade. What would you expect from the lovely lady? And uh, there's a lovely picture on the back of a, a young man. He looks very romantic, sitting on a, a stone or a log, contemplating, I think. It is, it's a lovely. Look how it's inside. It's um, different shape than what you'd normally get in an envelope. I think it's very clever. Very clever, and it's been all well sealed. So, I have opened it just in case I had to move anything, you know, like addresses and things like that. Um, and this is how it come, and I love these little stickers here on a beautiful um, napkin. It's a bread, just got ripped a little bit there. It's got my name on it. And um, challenge entry, so I'd know exactly what was in it. So I will be saving that. That's there. And what was in was this lovely tag, beautiful tag, uh, very pale paper pad. With, um, well, it looks like postcards and bills and things like that. But it's a lovely tag with a nice navy blue, I think it's navy blue, um, ribbon at the top. So it's a lovely way to present to present the challenge. So, as I have half opened it, only because I'm always fine, there's going to be something in it, um, you know, that the, the person doesn't want me you know, to show on camera. So I've got another little tag here, beautiful little purple flowers um, on both sides. And the little tag, I think this is a stamp done with uh, with a white pad. I've just recently got myself a white pad and I do like the effect. And a couple of lovely little charms on it. A little starfish and a flower. It's very pretty. And there's a... <laughs> I haven't opened it, you can tell, can't you? Oh, it, it's a lovely message saying, here's my entry to your, to your wonderful challenge. Uh, she got my address from the lovely D, Betsy Doodle. Ah, oh, this was gifted to her, called Sandy. And put it like the other one. Ah, somebody in Australia sent her two. So she thought I'd like one. I haven't read that. I thought it was just a tag. I'm very sorry, Ross. It is Ross. Paper crafting with Ross. I know who it is. <laughs> so, and this is the... Um, the index card. That came, but as I say, Ross said she hasn't made it. She's owned up, I wouldn't have known. And um, I suppose Sandy in Australia might be watching. <laughs> somebody's made it, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, somebody's made it and it's very beautiful. And it's the first lessons in penmanship on the front. But it's covered in lovely paper and it is a proper index card. It's got the little holes in. I don't have a proper index machine. Um, mine are going like in a photo, um, photo album thing. And there's a die cut, 
there's a pretty little flower there and she's even done a little bowing string in the same colour. Uh, layered up in one, two, three, four layers, three of them are hearts. A uh, lovely pink one to match the bottom one. And this beautiful turquoise, which matches that. Like a little wooden heart with ho like holes in it. And then love stamped on the little ticket there. So it's beautiful. And then on the back, it's just telling me it's from Ross. And um, her date of birth. And her address, which I won't show you. And she loves all things paper craft and dislikes Halloween, sea themes and steampunk. So I won't be sending her my mermaid. That was going to send her, will I? No. <laughs> hey, no, my funny steampunk bird with her hat on. No, no. We wouldn't be as cruel, Ross, I promise you. But she likes all things paper craft. That's why she's called Paper Craft with Ross, isn't it? Now, Ross is number six. Here's my little tub. And I had bought my little book down, but I have wrote in it. So all I've really got to do, I'll just take this off there. And <laughs> I don't think I need a bigger bowl yet, do I? This is number six. So I've already wrote it. And I'm just folding it up and I'll pop it in the bowl like that. And I dare say we'll get my art to pick out the winner when it's time, won't we, Art? Yes. Eh? <laughs> so that's it, ladies. That's all at the moment. So thank you very much, Ross, for joining in. And I thank everybody who, who has took the trouble to join in. You're much appreciated. And we'll see what next week brings. Yes, we will. We will. Okay. Bye, all. Bye, all. I'm going to spray me throat now. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.